I'm not sure what aphids are. <laughs> They're those little little green blobby things that, that ants milk. It's an aphid. Maybe they're crawling off of me. That's a bee. Or a sweat bee or something. Now it's going to end up stinging me. Maybe I deserve it. Did you see that? Do you see that little green guy? See him crawling around? They weren't on the broccoli this morning. Oh no. This is a major setback. Put a lot of love into these little peppers. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know exactly what it is. I just feel uh I don't know, I just feel kinda stuck. This is Joelle. She's my friend from work. She just stopped over uh to pick up some plants. It's it's not depression. I, I mean, I feel fine, but I just, I, I just don't know if I'm really, if I'm really accomplishing anything. I mean, not that that's important or anything, or, or is it? You mean that Joelle is going to take some of these plants home? She. Yeah, I, I did I offer. I did, I did offer her some, yeah. So these are different ones than the ones that we were looking at in the basement. Well, night. no, they're they're actually the same ones. Sometimes I feel so helpless, like like I don't know how to do anything. And I look around at all these amazing things that people do, and I think I'm so inept. But the good thing is that... I, for one, am familiar with aphids and how to get rid of an aphid infestation, so I'm self-sufficient on that. Thank you. Joanna didn't even know what an aphid was, so why would it make sense to give her a plant like that? Sometimes I tell myself, hey, you know, we all have our deficiencies. You know, it could be a lot worse, but it could be a lot better, too. I mean, I thought I would have actually accomplished something by now. You kind of feel sorry for her lack of aphid knowledge? I mean, I do. It's certainly a deficiency. It is odd that someone with your interests hasn't done this before. It's, it, it's not that I lack the self-confidence, really. Or do I? You seem like the kind of person that would garden. It's so curious. Of course, I have so much to be thankful for. It's, it's just that I have a lot of things to feel resentful about, too. Gardener's block, Gardener's I've heard it referred to. There certainly has to be a therapy out there that would specifically address Yes, yeah, maybe, symptoms. maybe. Yeah, that's part of the problem. Yeah, it was my friend's organic farm out in Chippewa Falls. It didn't turn out so well. It didn't work oh, out. Yeah. And it might be, that might be the root of the incident. I think we should you think explore like, that like further. Post-traumatic gardening syndrome. Right. Something traumatic must have happened. Fundamental issues with, with nurturing. Because mm. this could all be a metaphor for something. It could be. It could be. Something failed to thrive. Yeah. And she took it deeply in a very personal manner. Took it deep down. And she's afraid to fail again. I think you're right. I'm I so know. Sorry. I I know it's cliche, but there's there's people starving in the world. And here I am griping about well, I don't even know exactly what it is I'm griping about. Slow internet connection? Think? I think she should get the aphid infested plants because it'll be a challenge. Maybe it's a little too high level though to be getting mm. What do you think? It could be like flooding though. Garden it could be flooding. Right, right. Not literally flooding with water, but mm -hmm. exposure to what is most difficult. The commonly used methodology for treating anxiety mm -hmm. and avoidant behavior. 
I think you're, got, you're onto something. You think so? How do I feel about dying? Who said I'm gonna die? So, Joelle, did you know that Tasha sprayed pesticides on these plants? It was seven, though. Seven's not as bad as some of the options. It washes off in about a week. It shouldn't affect the food value. How do you okay. feel about that? You know, I, I really feel bad for the plants, but I feel worse for Tasha. Knowing Tasha as well as I do, I really had higher hopes and aspirations, you know, with her garden knowledge and sense. Why would she need pesticides? I mean, she's such a natural. I just didn't know that I had any options. You do have options. And let me tell you one of the easiest ones. Soap and water. How much easier does it get than that? I'm so glad you're here to show me this. I am too. Yeah, sometimes I feel lonely. But then when people are around, I just want them to go away. This is the worst. This is the most infected. Let's keep him in isolation. Oh, oh. So we're just going to spritz. Bye, aphids. Goodbye, aphids. You know you who needs this. to learn this, though? Joanna. Joanna. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I feel hopeful. I, I don't know what I feel hopeful for exactly. I mean, I, I guess that I hope that people don't think I'm a fool. But I suppose the likelihood of that is uh, pretty small. I think as part of our exposure treatment, you should work with the most sick patient. Oh, oh that's oh. a dribble. I think this is going to work. It's beautiful. I think we've com accomplished a lot here. I think we have come a long way mm -hmm. together. I guess what I've learned is that things don't really change. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to make these these kind of stick figure little cards and, and my mom, she thought that they were really cute. But I'm 42 now and I'm still making the same damn little cards, except people don't think they're so cute anymore. But that doesn't stop me from making them. because of the gentle pesticide I sprayed on them or Joelle's soap and water solution, but they are entirely gone. I am feeling some desire to uh, rat Joelle out after she shamed me about using pesticides and, and I just wanted to let you know that she uses pesticides all the time. Thank you.